Well, hello friends. Come back to the channel again. Go with me. So friends, in this session of big data, we will be discussing about what are the different types of big data. So this is also one of the important topic which cannot be skipped. So in this video, let us learn about the in-depth details regarding types of big data. Okay. So friends, before directly jumping to the video, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button icon so that you'll be never missing my new updates. Okay. So starting with the main point of the video, types of big data. So friends, I assume that you guys have come across what is big data and <clears throat> what are the different types, categories of big data. So in this video, let's learn about the types of big data. So by looking at the diagram that you, you might have been have a clear picture idea there are three types of big data one is structured semi-structured and unstructured okay so we can come to the conclusion the structure consists of audi ms relation database systems servers excel files sap files thread data and etc so structured files contains these types of files and speaking about the semi-structured XML data, ISON data, JSON data, etc. So, semi structure hold that kind of data. And last but not least, that is unstructured data that is usually called as social media, audios, videos, pictures, etc. So, that type of data is called as unstructured data. So, by looking at uh, this diagram, so you can come to the conclusion that there are three types of data one is structured, another one is semi structured, and another one is unstructured. So let's discuss the structured, semi-structured and unstructured individually. Okay. So think about the structured data. Okay. Any data that can be stored, accessed and processed in the form of fixed format is termed as structured data. See friends, structured data or those kind of data, those are very easy, easy to be read and easy to be analyzed. So those kind of data is found to be a structured data. For better understanding, you guys must tell me that uh, the data that is stored in the form of uh, in the form of tables, example, a relational database manager is a better example for structured data. Okay. Next, over the period of time, talent is a computer science has achieved greater success in developing techniques for working with such kind of data, where the format is well known in advance and also deriving values of it. See, the structured data in a sense, now I'm not, an, uh, I'm not trying to say it's exactly in the formidable and principled manner. Perhaps structured data or those kind of data is easy to learn and perhaps it's very well analyzed. So by looking at the data, so we can conclusion, come to the conclusion. So what kind of data that is completely formatted into? Okay. And however, nowadays we are for, foreseeing issues when a size of such data is growing to a huge extent. Typical sizes are being in this range of multiple zettabytes. Okay, so as you guys come across, you can see here, friends, every single day there are thousands of apps growing and thousands of apps deleting simultaneously. So I'm not trying to say here is see when you're using an application, there are some sort of data that is stored in the form of structure. So I'm not trying to say is that uh, that example Facebook application provides structured data. Perhaps uh, this kind of data is very uh, very well known for the developers when they're developing any kind of uh, data that has to be stored from the backend. Okay, so next, speaking about the semi structured data. Okay, so semi structured data that contains both in the form of data. Okay, so we can see semi structured data as a structured in the form of a form, but it's actually not defined. Example, a table definition in the relational database management system. See friends, assume in relational database management, you can come across these primary keys, foreign keys. So those type of can be called as semi-structured data. I'm not trying to say here is that all the data that is present in the relational database management system is a structured data. So there are uh, there are some data which can be signified as the semi-structured data. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say this uh, semi-structured data is completely structurized and needs to be analyzed and needs to be read and needs to be fetched, needs to be accessed, needs to be managed, just like the structured data that is available in the database or Oracle server. Okay, so 
checking about the example of semi-structured data is XML is found to be one of the most best example for the semi-structured data. Assume friends, XML data is stored in the form of XML file. Assume friends, if you are a software engineer, okay, you know how to code. So that you'll be storing some person information in the form of codings. See here friends, below this program, you can see that when you read a particular program that you'll be having the exact clear cut idea what exactly you've written here. When the person who tries to read who is from non-computer science background will take a few seconds to analyze that this is not a particular readable format or human readable format data. He'll not be getting the exact clarity of what is this that you have written. So that is called as semi-structured data. I'm not trying to say it is completely impossible to analyze those kind of data. Okay, last but not least is unstructured data. See friends, these are types uh, of data. Sometimes it's extremely hard to analyze the data and predict what exactly this data is trying to signify. Okay, usually the data that is presented in the research and laboratory is found to be that kind of unstructured data. Okay, data with unknown form of unknown form or the structure unknown structure is classified as an unstructured data. In addition to the size being a huge unstructured data poses a multiple challenges in terms of processing or deriving values of it. A typical example of unstructured data is a heterogeneous data source containing a combination of simple text files, images, videos, etc. Okay, so nowadays organizations have wealth of data available with them, but unfortunately they don't know how to derive the value of it since the data is in the raw or unstructured data. See friends, when the data is generated, sometimes we call it as raw data. Okay, sometimes it takes some it takes some skills to convert the raw data into semi-structured data. I mean to be structured data which can be analyzed. So the process of analyzing from raw data to a formidable data in structured data so those processes called as what do you say converting we can say that raw data as unstructured data which is found to be little hard to analyze okay so friends the session of the types of big data ends here so if you have any doubts regarding the types of big data if you have to can you please pin down your doubts in the comment section and definitely reply back and thank you for watching this video Thank you for thank you for spending your valuable time in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Okay.